This is 12.1 lymphatic system notes. The essential question is, what are parts of the lymphatic system and what is the order of the lymph flow? The lymphatic system is made up of two parts, the one being the lymphatic vessels, which are uh, best, uh, structures that the lymph, which is the fluid that are involved in the lymphatic system, travel, and then the lymphoid tissues are actual organs that have an immune function or plays a role in the actual functioning of the lymphatic system. The function of the lymphatic system is their job is to uh, collect any fluid that is lost in the blood capillaries and then any proteins that are also lost and put it back into the blood. So you notice that the blood capillaries, one of the characteristic of blood capillaries is they're very thin because you need gas exchange between the, the tissue and the, the blood capillaries, this web of the, black and, uh, the blue and the red. And when, because the walls are so thin in the blood capillaries, the, not only are you exchanging um, O2 and CO2 in the tissues, but also you are losing water and you are losing protein. So all this material in the kind of a cream color, those are all your uh, fluid that is lost that we call lymph. And so the job of the lymphatic system is to recollect that, soak up all of that excess lymph, the fluids, back into the lymphatic capillaries. That is one of the ways. And then put it back into the blood vessels so that there you have fluids to circulate in the blood. And because of this excess fluid that are basically draining out of the blood vessels, your tissues pick up some of that tissue and then you have excess fluids. And so any kind of excess fluids that are in the tissue, it collects that also. So when you have a, a misfunctioning or a problem with the lymphatic system, then you could have a massive swelling and things like that. Or there are diseases that causes massive swelling in the legs and specifically hands and the legs because of the... Uh, lack of that build, um, soaking up all that excess fluid from the tissue. They also play an essential role in the defenses, the body defenses against diseases, and that's where the lymphoid organs come into play. Again, lymph is the fluid that is carried back, that carried in the lymphatic vessels, and their job is to collect any fluids and put it back into the blood vessels, so keep the blood circulation going. Uh, the materials that you want to regain that are lost in the, the, uh, in the excess uh, tissue is water. And then there's also blood cells, specifically the white blood cells, and proteins that are leaked out through the capillaries. The harmful stuff that we want to get rid of or destroy are the um, bacteria, viruses, and any kind of pathogen that can cause disease, and also cancer cells, and cell debris are any kind of worn out cells or dead cells that normally accumulate in the body. Another characteristic of the lymphatic system that is different from the uh, cardiovascular system that it is a only one way, okay? In the cardiovascular system, you have arteries that send blood away from the heart, and then you have veins that bring blood back to the heart, whereas in the lymphatic vessels, they start at the tissue level away from the heart, and then that tissue, the lymph, the lymph and the fluid are collected, and they get sent towards the heart, and, but it never goes away from the heart. There is no pump. Remember, the cardiovascular has a pump that moves the blood along in the arteries. The lymphatic vessels do not have a pump. And again, the lymph always moves toward the heart, not away from the heart. The way lymph moves is very similar to how blood is moved in the veins. It is the milking action of the skeletal muscle. So this is kind of showing you the vein, but it is the same for the lymphatic vessels. You have skeletal muscles that are surrounding that uh, lymphatic vessel, and when they contract, they squeeze that lymphatic vessel, and then the fluid that's in it will travel toward in one direction. And then also the walls of the lymphatic vessels have smooth muscles, and they contract, and then they will constrict that blood vessel and make the lumen inside the blood vessel or the lymphatic vessel smaller, and that also moves the fluid along. 
So the order of the lymphatic vessels is less complicated than the cardiovascular, so they will start at the lymph capillaries, and their job is to collect the excess lymph or lymph that has left the blood vessels, the blood capillary. And in order to ensure that the flow goes in one direction, they have mini valves, just like the veins. And their job is to, remember that the valves are, their job is to prevent backflow. So once that the lymph has moved into one area, then the valves will close and it will prevent it from going back into that space. And um, they are the lymph cap capillaries, they're kind of like sponges. So what happens is all of this excess fluid in the cream color, they are picked up by the lymphatic capillaries, lymph capillaries. What's holding the lymph capillaries in place surrounding, kind of notice that it's kind of interwoven into the blood capillaries are called filaments and they kind of anchor them in place so they're not moving around. Okay, and then again, they act like sponges and they soak up any excess fluid that's around. Lymphatic collecting vessels, their job is to collect the lymph from the lymph capillary. So the order would be lymph capillaries, then the lymphatic collecting vessels. Then comes the, uh, the lymphatic collecting vessels send the, deliver the lymph to the lymph nodes. But they not only deliver it to the lymph nodes, which the lymph nodes are these kidney-shaped or jelly bean-shaped structures, but then they also send uh, lymph away from the lymph nodes also. So you have collecting, that's the, uh, collecting vessels uh, both before the lymph nodes and after the lymph nodes. Similarities between blood vessels and lymphatic vessels are that they have the same layers, the uh, tunica interna and tunica media and tunica externa. They contain more valves than the veins and they are very delicate and just like the veins, they carry low pressure blood. After the, again, the lymphatic collecting vessels will lead the lymph uh, toward and away from the lymph nodes, and they're scattered throughout, and their job is to filter out and, you know, catch any kind of uh, foreign material, that harmful materials that you don't want. Then the lymph from the lymph nodes gets collected by the lymph trunk, then the lymph trunk will then empty their lymph into the lymph duct, then which will then dump into the vein. And so the general order is you have the lymphatic capillaries, then that will send it to the afferent lymphatic vessels, afferent meaning that they're going toward the lymph node, then comes the lymph node, then you have the efferent lymphatic vessels, which send lymph away from the lymph node, then you have the lymphatic or lymph trunks, and then you have the collecting ducts, which are your lymph ducts, and then that will drain into the subclavian vein. The returning of the flu lymph uh, to the heart is slightly different. On the right side, the uh, lymph drains into the lymphatic duct, then into the subclavian vein, and then on the left side, the, it drains into the thoracic duct, then into the uh, left subclavian vein. 12.1 notes homework. Number one, what are the functions of the lymphatic systems? Number two, how are lymphatic vessels similar and different from arteries and veins? Number three, name the order of lymph flow.